I think it's really valid to talk about um, doing that for your clients as well, right? Um, so I think any business that's out there, especially startups and, and tech businesses, don't just tell them the immediate savings and then assume they know what that implies. Go to the nth level of building that out for them. So one of the things I talk about is how I don't focus on what I call K1 metrics, right? Um, K1 metrics for most people are things like engagement, right? Views, um, impressions, how many likes I'm getting, how many comments I'm getting. And they're great. Like they're a, they're a short-term stopgap measure and they're an indicator as to how many eyeballs you're getting. And obviously you want to increase them, right? Like, like I'm not belittling those metrics. You want to increase them um, as much as possible. But it's still based on your target market. So if you're in a really niche market and you're only getting a small amount of views, maybe that's okay. Because if they're the right eyeballs, who cares? If you're a general market who can copyright and you can do website design and SEO, well, yeah, you should be getting much higher views because your content is, like there's a lot more competition 